Hi guys, Mike here, um, and I've got an update, my first update on my uh, next uh, build, and uh, which is the uh, uh, Dodge Challenger SRT8, uh, 2008, 125th scale model by AMT, and um, I've been working on it for a little bit. Uh, and however, I found out, uh, something with this car when I opened it up, it does not come with an engine. Uh, so, uh, I wasn't prepared for that. If I would have known that, I probably would not have bought this model, but uh, however, uh, I have made some, uh, decisions on this and uh, so uh, basically uh, what I have done is um, okay this when I took the hood off this whole area was covered with a, just a piece of plastic covering that entire area there <clears throat> and um, so uh, I thought, okay, well, I'm not used to making a model without an engine, a car, you know. And so I thought, uh, got to have an engine in here. So as you can see, I cut the piece out, took my Dremel tool and cut it out. Um, and also, as you can see, I uh, cut the doors open, got the hinges on them. And uh, haven't even primed it yet, but I wanted to get the doors hinged on here before I did that. Uh, so anyway, as far as the engine is concerned, I have a lot of spare parts. And I found an engine part here in my uh, bag of tricks. <laughs> and I, um, I guess I'd already glued it together, but I, I went ahead and painted it. And, uh, but I wanted to make sure I had some other pieces, which I've got plenty of those. I've got uh, this, I could use this for my oil pan, or I could use that piece there. I'm not sure which models those came off of. And I'm thinking about using this for the, uh, the top, the air breather cover. Now, of course, guys, I know, you know, that this is not the right uh kind of engine for for that car i know that you know i just decided that i wanted to have an engine in there uh just you know for appearance sake but um i'm getting uh my the rest of my parts together i've got i was thinking about using this for the fan um and i've got a fan fan belt that i've paint it up I still got to touch it up a little bit but um, and then I got my door panels um, cut and uh, as soon as everything's all painted up and everything I'll I'll get those glued on and um, I'm thinking about uh, doing up the uh, interior with um, oh you know putting some felt in there on for the carpet for the floor there the uh, seats was interesting they came in uh, like a black um, kind of a black rubbery type of appearance there which I could either paint or leave them as they are I think I'll leave them the color they are but I'm gonna you know touch it up trim put some trim on there and snazz it up a bit so uh, but anyway that's where I'm at guys uh, you know, I'm getting, I'm going to get my rest of my engine parts assembled, uh, get them together. Uh, I've got some um, valve covers here that I was thinking about using. Uh, let's see, yeah, those will fit. And I've got an assortment of different uh, uh, exhaust pipes that I could probably use if I wanted to, if the, depending on if they'll fit in there. Uh, I've got these as a possibility. I've got this here. Uh, I don't, I'm going to have to search around and see if I can find the other, the piece for the other side of this here. 
for the exhaust pipe. But uh, anyway, guys, that's where I'm at with uh, with my Dodge 2008 Dodge Challenger, and um, I'll keep you updated on uh, you know the rest of my build with it and uh take it from there so uh you guys have a great rest of your monday and we'll talk to you later god bless all of you